In this video, we are going to look at trigonometric graph sketching. You will find this on page 162 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. <clears throat> trigonometric graph sketching. In the introduction, the graph of the trigonometric function Y equals sin X was plotted accurately on graph paper. However, the information required by some questions may not require us to make an accurate drawing of the graph, but only a sketch of the graph showing the essential features of each function. How to sketch trigonometric functions? Use a pencil and ruler and draw the line X and Y axis. Make your axis at least 10 centimeters and, and number it. So make a scale of it. Say one centimeter is one unit. Determine and write down the important features of the sketch. The maximum and the minimum points of the function, the x-intercept or the y-intercept um, if the graph crosses the axis, the um, period indicate when the graph repeats itself over a certain interval, the amplitude, the height from the center line. Determine is sorry. Just want to get another. Determine any asymptotes. If so, draw them in with a dotted line. Plot all the information and draw the curve with the knowledge of the shape of the basic function. Let's look at an example. The equation of a curve is y equals 3 cos 2x minus 1. And now they give this in radians. So then your sketch must be in radians. Now write down the maximum and the minimum value. Now, just like the previous question or video, uh, for the maximum it's A plus C. Don't forget that value is A, 3. That value in front of X is B. And that value, grab the negative sign, is negative 1. The minimum value is negative A plus C. So it's negative 3 plus negative 1, which is negative 4. The amplitude is A, and in this case it's 3. Um, the period is, um, in this case, because it's a cos, it's 2 pi divided by that value of B. So 2 pi divided 2, and that will then be pi. The range uh, is the minimum value, okay, it's, it's stretching from negative 4 until 2, okay. And now you just draw that curve. You can, if, you, if you're a little bit unsure about the shape, you can make in between points to just help you a little bit, which we'll, we'll maybe do in the next question. Okay, and there is your graph. Can you see it's going from 2, and if I move it up a little bit, until negative 4. Okay, let's go on. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1, and I want you to do number 2D. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's do number one. The equation of the curve is y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. And now it's telling you that x is bigger than equal 0 and smaller than equal than 2 pi. So this must be in radians. Okay. And now I say write down the maximum and the minimum values. So, um, okay, I, I first want to show you the value of A is 2, the value of B is 1, and the value of C is 1. So if I'm going to do, I'm just going to say now, okay, the maximum value is a plus c so it will be 2 plus 1 and that will be 3 okay so y equals 3 and the minimum value is negative a plus c and that will be equal to negative 2 plus 1 
and that will equal negative 1. So y is equal to negative 1. Okay. Uh, that is number A. Then number B, state the amplitude. So the amplitude is just the value of A. So A, therefore, it's 2. The amplitude equals 2. Uh, the uh, period, period, now because it's only 1, so it will just be 2 pi. Okay, you don't divide, divide by 1. And then the range, this is the y values. So the y values go from negative 1. Up to 3. Okay. And now number C, hence sketch the graph. Now as soon as I sketch the graph, I can just move it here. Okay. Now if I'm going to start here, uh, because, let's just see, I think I can just, because of one centimeter, I can just do it like that. So, let's make this pi, and this two pi. And then we can make this, uh, what is it going up to three? So, one, two, oh, it's a bit high. Uh, one, two... I'm just going to take it up, um, up to three. Okay, it's just that value, so it's just three. <laughs> Sorry, the pen. Okay, so it's just three there. And there is my negative one. <clears throat> okay, when you draw the graph, don't forget that no, it's in the middle. You will start at the middle. So it's between that and that. So it will be one, two, one, two. And that you will end again here. Don't forget that. And, and that it will go through there. Okay, that, that is what you must focus on. So, and then the maximum point will be there. And the minimum point will be there. So I think if you if you draw make this for you. So imagine this whole graph was just moving one up. Because otherwise it's it's a bit challenging to do that. So if you then do it like this and concentrate. It's going to it's a bit more difficult with my pen. Yes, so it's like almost you think the line is there and you just draw the graph and then I think it will be more because you must start there and you must end there and it's going there through the middle. And this is then the graph. Y is equal to 2 sin x plus 1. So it's like the sine graph that just moved up one unit. Okay, let's do the next one. Number 2. Okay, so number two, so y is equal to sin of x minus 2. So let's start again. a in this case is 1, b is a half, and c is negative 2. So basically, now it's in degrees. Did you see that? So start uh, stating the amplitude. So, so let's start again. We, okay, I think it's good that you start with the maximum and the minimum. Um, but because they ask only the amplitude, now let's start with the maximum value because then it's easy to find the amplitude. Uh, that was A plus, because it's against sin, so A plus C, so that is going to give you 
as you see, I plus C. So that is just going to give you I with the value of I is 1 plus negative 2, and that's negative 1. So Y is equal to negative 1. Then the minimum value is going to be negative I plus C. And that is going to be negative 1 plus negative 2. And that is going to be negative 3. Negative 3. So, now I'm going to quickly look at this. So now I'm just going to say the amplitude, therefore, the amplitude, because it, you could have now subtract and divide 2, but in this case it, should, it will just be 1. Okay. And then the period will be, now don't forget, it's in degrees, so it's 360 degrees, it's divide the half, but actually it will become 360 multiplied to, which is 720 degrees. Okay, so and then the y-intercept. Um, what is the y? It's the value of c, and that will be negative 2. It's very good. In the previous one, I didn't write the y-intercept, and that's very important that, because that could have helped me also with the sketch, sketchy. Okay, now let's just start. If I do this one. Now, sometimes, if the value of b is a fraction, a table with a few points will also help. So, because, because now it's almost like it's stretch, and now I think sometimes it's a bit difficult. So, it's not always to say now, I think if we create a small table, just want to write a ruler. I'll show you now why. And, and we're just going to say, okay, this is X and this is Y. And if I have zero degrees, 180 degrees, 360. So zero is negative two, and this is negative 1, and this is negative 2. And the reason why I'm showing you this, I'll show you now. Because as soon as I start with the sketch, I'm just going to, because it's from 0 to 360. So this value, I just want to show you this value, this minimum value, this negative 3, is not in the range. And I'll show you now why. So if you, if I move it up, to show you. So sometimes it's really good to just quickly make a table. Um, let's just get this access. I think in this case, because it's going to be more just on the negative, I can do it like this. And if I'm just going to say, okay, there is zero, this is negative one, <laughs> this is negative two, and okay, say this is negative 3. And this is going to be, let's just say, this is 90. Okay, I didn't even put in 90, which would have been nice. Um, I'll see now if I can put it in to help me with the sketch. But let's see, 180, 270, and 360. Okay. So, if I'm starting with that plotting, 0, I'll see now if it's necessary. 0 and negative 2. Then it's 180 and negative 1. And then 360 and negative 2. Now, I want to show you here that this sketch, this sketch was, and if you look here, it was moved two units down. Do you see? So, that's why this, the top is negative 1. So, if you continue, it will go to negative 3. So, that's why if you do it on this method, it can be a bit confusing. Then, if, as soon as you see it's a bit confusing, just create a table. And now, it's very easy because you know it's the sign. You know the form. Now, I just want to get that sketch correct. But what will happen, it will still go down. Do you see that? But at this stage, it's 
it's just up to 360 so it stops there so don't forget to make a table if you feel that this information is not enough to help you to create the sketch and this one will be y equals sin of half x minus 2 and that's the final answer